This video is a tutorial for the Rainbow Loom Totem Pole Bracelet. It looks super complicated, but in reality, it's not that hard to make and that's why it's so awesome. And for this bracelet, you'll need a Rainbow Loom, 8 red, orange and yellow bands, 6 green bands, 4 blue, purple and pink bands, and 44 black bands. You'll also need a hook and a C or an S clip. Before we start, you want to make sure that the three rows of your loom are even with each other and that the opening of the pins is facing away from you. Then you grab your first black band. You start on the first pin on the middle row and you stretch out this band to the second pin on the left row. Then you grab another black band. You start on the pin that you just ended on and you stretch it out over the pin directly above it. Then you grab your next black band, you start on the pin that you just ended on and you stretch it onto the pin directly above it. Then you continue to do this on the left row all the way until you've reached the second to last pin on the left row. And then from there, you want to stretch out a black band to the very last pin on the middle row, like this. Once you've done that, we're going to work on the right row. Essentially, you're just going to do the same thing. So you start on the first pin on the middle row and you stretch out a black band to the second pin on the right row. Then with another black band, you start on the pin that you just ended on and you stretch it out to the pin directly above it. And you continue to do that until you've reached the second to last pin on the right row. Once you've reached that one, you stretch out a black band from the second to last pin on the right row to the very last pin on the middle row, like this. Now you grab a black band and this black band you're going to start from the first pin on the middle row to the second pin on the middle row. Then you grab your first colored band. What you want to do is you want to move this colored band over from the second pin on the left row to the second pin on the middle row. And you grab the same color and do this on the right side as well. So from the second pin on the right row to the second pin on the middle row, like that. Then you want to grab the same color again and from the second pin on the left row, you stretch it out to the third pin on the middle row and you do that same thing on the right side. Then you grab a black band and you connect the two pins that have colored bands on it on the middle row. So from the second to the third pin on the middle row. Now we're going to start with a new color. As you can see, we just made a triangle and you want to do this exact same pattern with our new color. So on a new pin on the left row, you stretch out this new color from the left row to the middle row and from the right row to the middle row. And you connect those uh, orange colors with the tip of the red triangle. And then you finish off the triangle by um, adding two different oranges to a new pin on the middle row. And then you connect the bottom of the triangle and the top of the triangle with a black band. Now we're already starting on the next color. Again, you just very simply make this triangle. And once you've done that, you want to connect the bottom of the triangle to the top of the triangle or the pyramid, whichever uh, you prefer. And then you just continue to do that until the very end of the loom. Um, so don't forget to first do left, then right, then left and right again, and then connect um, the bottom to the top of the triangle. By the way, I fast forwarded this footage. So if you're not here yet, just pause the video and play it again once you're ready for this step. So on this very last triangle, you don't have to create the whole triangle, you just create the bottom and then you connect um, the bottom of this triangle with the very top of the middle row. Then you wanna add a cap band. So put a black band around two fingers, you twist it and fold it back around your fingers and then you add this cap band on the very last pin on the middle row like that. Then you want to turn the loom around so that the opening of the pins is facing towards you. So that way it's very easy to grab your hook and start looming this bracelet. So what we want to do is we're going to start on the very first pin on the center row. You put your hook inside of the top two bands. So this is the cap band for your reference. And you want to grab the first black band you see and you loom it onto the second pin 
on uh, the middle row and then you grab from the center of your cap band you grab this next black band and you loom it to the upper left and you do the same thing with your last black band and you move it to the upper right so as you can see is you grab the actual band that is connected to that pin and then you loom it over to that pin again so it's kind of like folding um, itself now you want to do that same thing with the colors first you do the left color and then you do the right color make sure you grab the band from the inside of the pin or inside of the black band or else it's not attaching itself to the black band so that's not good now the pattern is going to be first left black so you grab the bottom black band from the left pin then the middle black and then the black band on the right side again make sure you grab all these bands from the inside of all the other bands and then we're going to loom the triangle so first left diagonally and then right diagonally and then from this middle row we're going to go left and right so it's a little confusing in the beginning but you'll get the pattern once you go through this video a little more so you grab from the bottom most pin in the middle where colored bands are attached to you grab the left one and you move it up and to the left and the right up and to the right then you go to a pin right above it and you loom the colored band to the left and the colored band to the right like that so now you've loomed your first real triangle now we're going to do the three black bands again um, again it's very important that you do left middle to right and after that we're going to hook um, the triangle the color triangle but first the black bands and you want to make sure that you do this from the inside of the other bands um, and also you can just check to verify if you have the right band if you can tell that it is attached to the pin that you are going to loom to then you grab the bottom of your triangle and you move it to the left and then to the right and then this bottom of the triangle is the pin is empty so you go to your next pin on the middle row and you grab the color pin that's attached to the left and you move it over to the left and then you grab the band that is attached to the right pin and you move it over to the right like that so again i'm going to explain it but a little faster black left middle black and black right then the color diagonally left diagonally right and then straight left straight right so black left middle right color diagonally left diagonally right and then straight left straight right so just continue doing this until the very end i'm fast forwarding this footage so obviously you're not going to be able to keep up with me so make sure you pause this video and play it again once you're getting ready to end off this bracelet and i'll show you how to do that um, if you're still confused, you can just rewind the video and listen to the explanation again because that is the beauty of YouTube. You can just listen to the same part over and over again and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so right now we've almost reached the end. I'm just continuing these last two colored bands to the left and to the right. And then what you want to do is basically kind of do the same thing what you would normally do. but it might throw you off a little bit because the left and the right one are diagonal but you basically just um, hook over the left black band the middle black band and the right black band but you move them all to this last pin on the middle row once you've done that you put your hook through this uh, all the bands on the last pin on the middle row and you make sure your bottom of your hook is peeking out and you put a black band on your hook then you pull through this black band and you move your hook through the other side of your black band like this so everything's attached um, onto your black band and your hook and you can kind of move it to the thicker part of your hook because that way it'll be a little bit stronger and then very carefully you can start pulling off the bracelet off of your loom if you have loomed everything correctly it will come off like this 
if it falls apart then it just means that you did something wrong somewhere that's that's okay i mean it happens to me all the time that something goes wrong you're just gonna have to do it again thankfully this bracelet is not very hard and it's actually really fun to make so just do it again if um it didn't work out for you well anyway this bracelet is not long enough to go around your wrist so we'll need to make an extension so make sure you turn your loom back around and then you just um put black bands on the right row all on top of each other i'm using six black bands you can use more if you want your bracelet to be longer or less if you want it to be not as long it depends on the size of your wrist then you grab the two black bands that were on your hook and you put it onto the very last pin that has a, a band around it and then you turn your loom back around so that way you can very easily hook the black bands and you want to make sure that you grab this black band that is attached to the next pin so you move the bands out of the way that are in your bracelet and it's very important that you do this because you gotta grab the black band that's on the pin from the inside of the black bands that are from your bracelet if that makes sense and then you just hook it over to the next pin and you do that with all of the black bands then this very last band I just like to stretch it around the pin right next to it just so it's a little bit easier to put my C or, or your S clip on it depending on which clip you decide to use um, but uh, that's not necessary then you can just take it off of your loom and you can attach your C or your S clip to the um, other side of your bracelet and you can very easily just find this black cap band it's very pretty and lends itself to hooking it to the serial s clip perfectly so this is what your bracelet will look like now and i am just completely in love with this bracelet it's the totem pole bracelet because it has those little x's to the left and the right and it totally looks like a totem pole so the other side is also pretty cool it kind of looks like a zippy chain bracelet but I prefer to wear this side up because it just looks so awesome and it also looks super complicated. But you and I now both know that it's actually really easy to make. So I hope you like this video. Give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!